Welcome to Healing Starts From Within with Dr. Shauna. Join me as we explore ways to improve our physical, mental, and spiritual health by healing from the inside out. Welcome back to video three in Sugar and Sweeteners, the Bittersweet Truth series. I'm Dr. Shauna. Today we're going to talk about erythritol. Now, erythritol, is it really a good sweetener? Now, there's a lot of information going around today about erythritol. If is it good, is it not, and what type of sugar-free sweetener is it really? Those people who do low-carb, keto-type ways of eating are very familiar with erythritol. So today we're going to talk about the good and the bad of erythritol. Erythritol is a natural sugar alcohol found in sugar-free foods, beverages, sauces, anything like that that you see sugar-free, a lot of times you'll see erythritol in it. It's become very popular, like I said, because of the increased popularity of low-sugar, no-carb diets such as Atkins, Keto, even Trim Healthy Mama, all different kinds of things. Now, with everything, there's going to be good and bad forms of erythritol. So let's start and talk about the bad. There's two types of erythritol. There's GMO corn derivative erythritol and there's non-GMO corn derivative erythritol. And if you've watched or heard me speak at any of my videos or on Facebook or anywhere, you know that my least favorite and the worst will be the GMO corn derivative form of erythritol. And it is derived just like you hear it from corn. However, it's GMO corn. You want to avoid the GMO corn derivative erythritol like the plague. It is heavily processed with chemicals and in my opinion, the GMO, because it's made in a lab, is not going to be good for you. If we truly want to eat clean and natural and only things found in nature so we can heal our bodies through what we eat and what we're putting on the inside of it, you want to stay as far away from anything GMO as possible. So the best option if you're going to use erythritol obviously is going to be the non-GMO derivative form. However, even the non-GMO derivative form of erythritol can give people side effects such as stomach aches, diarrhea, and headaches. Plus, some people can actually get an allergic skin reaction to erythritol, even the non-GMO derivative form of erythritol. And so they'll get these big red welts all over their skin. Also, IBS sufferers tend to be super sensitive to the erythritol because it is a sugar alcohol and it will really flare up their symptoms. So they want to definitely avoid those if you have any type of IBS symptoms. Erythritol a lot of times is combined with other artificial sweeteners, specifically aspartame. And aspartame, if you watched my first video, you know that is the one artificial sweetener you want to stay as far away from as you can because of all the bad side effects it can do to our bodies. Now, they're also doing a study. Researchers at Drexel University are doing a study and doing research, and they're seeking a patent to use erythritol as an insecticide. Yep, I said it, a pest control substance. So I'm not sure if we should be putting the erythritol in our body if it's killing insects. Okay, now don't run to the kitchen, grab everything with erythritol and throw it in the trash. All right, just stop. Stop and think, okay, this is what we're going to do. It's okay to use erythritol if you need another option because you A, don't like stevia or the taste that it gives you, or B, there's just nothing else out there to use and you really want to use something that has no sugar, no carbs, and will help you to lose weight. Just be very careful that you're getting the right kind of erythritol. Make sure it's labeled USDA Organic and then also has the non-GMO project, which is the Butterfly Project, and that's what you're looking for. And that's when you know you've got the best form of erythritol if that is the option you have. There are some better options out there over erythritol. If you don't mind, the taste would be stevia, and then if you're not trying to lose weight would be the raw local honey. Another new natural sweetener, no sugar, no carbs, 
very conductive, conducive for weight loss, and that would be monk fruit. Now, if you don't know or haven't heard me talk about stevia or monk fruit, I want you to go back to the video before this to listen to stevia and stay tuned and make sure you catch the fourth video in my sugar and sweeteners series on monk fruit. Thanks for joining me. I hope you found this helpful. Now, please feel free to comment your favorite brands of erythritol below. And as always, thank you so much. I'm Dr. Shauna, and remember, healing starts from within.